Off the shore of Hecla Island, Inner Svensson hauls fish in off Lake Winnipeg. The most valuable is walleye, the lifeblood of his business, and he says the nets have been full. Overall, it's been a terrific season. Just like the last you know, 10, 15 years, it hasn't been any different, better or worse than any other. Commercial fishers all over Lake Winnipeg say there are plenty of walleye in this inland sea. Scientists and regulators don't share that sunny outlook. They fear the stock is in danger. Provincial biologists say the fish are growing slowly, maturing later, and are often getting caught before they can spawn. Since a peak of about 2008 and 2009, the catch has steadily declined for the fishers, and I think angling success has also declined. To protect the walleye, the province is reducing how much fish can be caught by buying back commercial quotas. It's also increasing the mesh size on gill nets so smaller fish can go free. When you see that the trend line is going in the wrong direction uh, over a long period of time, you can, you can extrapolate um, what, that, what that means and where that will lead you. This independent biologist says the province needs to do even more. If we keep doing what we're doing, um, uh, we'll, we'll um, drive the population into collapse as it was driven into collapse in the late 1960s. The fishers don't agree. They don't trust the biologists or their data because the numbers don't line up with what they see on the lake. And they've hired their own scientists to combat what they call misinformation about walleye stocks. Still, the province is moving forward with its new regulations, potentially threatening the livelihood of Svensson's family business. I've been very fortunate. I'm fourth generation. My son will be fifth, and hopefully there'll be sixth and seventh to come. Bartley Kivas, CBC News, at Hecla Village in Manitoba.